Hi everyone, I just logged into my lab environment and I noticed that the VDI machine is in unregistered state right now. So when I click this, it says something like the machine is not registered but should be. For more information, see the troubleshoot tab in the details pane for this machine. So I'm trying to solve this problem. So let me click on troubleshoot. Okay, it says the possible issue is the delivery controller lost connection with the VDA. This may likely be caused by network disruptions. Verify that the Citrix broker service is running on the delivery controller and the desktop service is running on the VDA. Start the service. If it is stopped, if already started, restart the desktop service on the VDA to restart the registration process and validate the VDA registers successfully. Okay, in this uh, scenario, what we can do is let's try to uh, open command prompt and let's try to ping the VDA machine. Okay, it's uh, VDI 03 dot rh dot com hyphen t hit enter. Okay, it seems like it is uh, communicating fine with the VDA machine. So let's close this. Uh, let's try to just uh, ping using the IP address 192.168.160.137. Okay. Okay, so it's pinging fine. So the delivery controller or the DDC machine is communicating fine with the VDA machine. So let's minimize this uh, let us try to look for services on the controller and let's check the status of the broker service here let's scroll down okay it's already in running state yes because uh, uh, we could we, we could ping the VDA machine without any issues. Let's try one thing. Let's try to restart the service and see how it goes. Okay, we have restarted the broker service. Now let's go back to uh, the studio and try to refresh and see how it goes. Okay, it's still in unregistered state. Okay, let's do one thing. Let us try to log into the VDA machine and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the VDA machine. Let's let me check the host name. Okay, VDI03. Okay, this is the VDA machine. So let us do one thing. Let's try to ping the controller from here. Ping space controller.narish.com hyphen t hit enter okay we can ping the controller machine without any issues let's close this let's try to ping with the IP address okay we could ping with the IP address as well so this doesn't seem like any dns issue because we we could ping with uh, the fqdn and we could also ping with the ip address so but let's do one thing let us check let us quickly check the configuration on this machine and controller as well let's go to properties okay uh, DNS server is 192.168.160.214, which is the IP address of the AD server. So it is right. And the controller is also pointing to the same server, if I'm not wrong. Let me quickly check. Okay. It's pointing to 192.168.160.214, same as the uh, VDA machine. So it's not at all an issue with the DNS as well. Everything looks good. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's close this. 
let's close this let's minimize all these things and I have this tool on my machine if you have heard about it it's useful for troubleshooting purposes it is called Citrix Health Assistant let's try to run this tool and see how it goes okay I'm doing this on the uh, VDI machine I'll run this as administrator this is uh, one of the troubleshooting tools that we can use to solve the problems okay it is asking the FUDN of the target VDA okay so it's uh, VDI VDI 03 dot arish dot com okay let me type my credentials all right so i entered my credentials as well i just want to cross check everything looks good i want to participate in citrix custom experience improvement program now uh, i do not want to participate at this point so let me click next okay it is asking whether i want these logs or not okay i'll just uh, check citrix provisioning event log check i'll click next now it is going to run a test so this should give a lot of insights about this particular problem because we have done the basic troubleshooting steps but uh, we were not able to solve it so citrix health assistant would help us to uh, provide some major information to solve these issues okay it is giving some errors basically okay let's click on this it says media registration three checks failed what is the first one it says found service errors in the event log in the last five minutes check windows event viewers for more details okay uh, this doesn't seem to help much what is this list of ddc is empty from the windows feature for from the windows feature for removing or changing the programs reconfigure the vda reconfigure the vda adding one or more controller addresses for more information see this article okay uh, it's it is saying that uh, the vda machine is uh, i mean the configuration of the ddc is not mentioned in the vda agent i don't think so but first let check the service status on the VDA machine let's look for Citrix uh, desktop service here let's scroll down okay this is Citrix desktop service it is in started state let's do one thing just for troubleshooting purpose let's try to restart and see how it goes okay we have restarted it and let's try to refresh just to make sure it is in started state okay so it looks good it is in running state uh, let's go back to controller once let's go to studio and let's try to refresh now and see if it helps to resolve the issue i'm clicking refresh okay it's in unregistered state let me refresh once again because it takes a while sometimes okay it is still in unregistered state mm -hmm. so what we can do okay let's go back to uh, citrix health assistant okay so it says the time sync with controller this is the third one it is uh, it is asking us to check it is a third hint it says the time difference between controller and VDA is more than five minutes, seven to eight six four zero minutes. Oh my God! <laughs> Enable domain time synchronization for those machines. For more information, see the article. It says the time difference is more than seven to eight six four zero minutes. So what is happening here? What is the time on the controller? Okay, it is seven fifty seven p.m. Uh, 12th of September 2021 what is the time on VDA machine it is 24th of 24th of April 2020 oh my god there's a lot of time difference I think this could be the problem okay let's try to 
uh, change the time and see how it goes. Okay, let's change the date and time. So this is 2021, right? Okay, 2021, September, and today it's uh, 12th of September. 12th of September, okay. Okay, click OK. Click OK. All right, we have changed the time. It's now saying it's 12th of September 2021. Uh, let us go back to controller and try to refresh and see how it goes. It's still unregistered. It's still in unregistered state. Okay, let's go back to video mission once again. So the time is 2.59 a.m. And here the time is 7.59 p.m. So let's make it 7.59 p.m. on video mission. Seven fifty-nine p.m. right? So let's make it uh, 7.59. Okay, 7.59 p.m. Let's click OK. OK. OK, it's 7.59. 7.59. So the time is same on controller as well as the VDA machine now. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to controller and let's try to refresh and see how it goes. OK. Is still in unregistered state. I don't know why. This is a very interesting issue. Let's check the services on uh, VDA machine once. Okay, let's run the check again and see how it goes. Okay, let me try to click next. Click next. Okay, it is running the checks once again. All right. It is giving a lot of errors about time zone redirection. And it says there is a hotfix installation which is available. But we have corrected the time, right? Why is it giving the message again? Time sync with controller. The time difference between controller and VDA is more than five minutes. 1019 minutes enabled domain time synchronization for those machines for more than for more information. See this. Okay. Uh, let's check the let's go to adjust date time. Okay, this is specific time US and Canada here. Let's go to controller. Okay, this is Canberra, Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney time. Okay, let's change it. Uh, what is this once, once again? It's uh, Pacific time, US and Canada. Let's change it. Pacific time, US and Canada. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's here. I'm sorry. Okay, let me click OK. Let me click OK. Now, both the video machine and the controller are in the same time zone and the time is also right. OK, it's 3, 2. OK, let's uh, click. OK, let's refresh here and see how it goes. It's 3, 3 a.m. 
why is it showing 8 to here okay let's change the time here point it to let's make it as 3 3 a.m okay let's click okay let's click okay okay it's 3 3 okay it's i'm sorry guys it's 3 3 p.m and 3 3 a.m here let's change it to 3 3 a.m uh, okay so let's change it to 3 3 a.m okay let's click okay let's click okay all right all right it's 3 4 here it's 3 3 here uh, it shouldn't be a problem it's uh, just uh, it's 30 seconds or one minute difference it shouldn't be a problem so let's uh, run check again and see how it goes okay let me quickly type the details Okay, let me check this. Uh, it's already there, so let's click next. Okay, now it just gives only one error, one check failed. So what is this? It says list of DDCs is empty. Everything is successful. List, list of DDCs is empty from the Windows features for removing or changing programs. Okay, everything is good except that. But it gives time zone redirection fail here. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's quickly go back to uh, studio and refresh and see how it goes. All right, it is trying to initialize. It is initializing now. Let's refresh once again. Perfect, it is registered. All right, so basically it's uh, this problem is due to the time difference between the controller and the VDA machine. So there is a lot of time difference between between these two machines. So we had to change the time on, you know, both the servers just to make sure everything is right. So once we had uh, corrected the time and once the time is synchronizing well, uh, the machine has uh, changed to the registered state from unregistered state. Thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I know it's a long video, but uh, if, uh, I hope you like this information. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment. Thank you very much. Bye.